Hi, hi, good people. Welcome back to Freedom with Frida in case you're new here. Hi, my name is Frida Nguku and this is the best place for you. So subscribe and join the family. There's a subscription button somewhere here. Please click on it. Anyway, I thought I should just pop up out here and talk to you guys before this video starts because you're going to see me looking some site some type of a way <laughs> so i thought why not come and welcome you guys and say thank you for each and every one of you who actually has bought anything from my company join my called papers and deco and if you don't follow me kindly on instagram and facebook follow me follow my business there at join my call papers and deco i'm going to leave it on the description box that way you get to see everything that we put on sale new stock you know learn a few things here and there about your house and all those um and all that kind of thing anyway so this video is going to be a unique one because i know guys have been doing a lot of wallpapers here and some of you think it's just wallpapers that i sell and install but i do so many other things i do contact papers which are meant for surfaces i do uh tough artificial grass which also you're going to see a video on that and uh, i also do mkeka wambao I do wallpapers, of course, and now I do wall mirrors. And most of people ask, what is the difference between wall mirrors and wallpapers? Now, wall mirrors is the video you're about to see, and wall mirrors are actually also wall coverings. But the difference is, it's not like wallpapers. We do not import them, and they don't come in rolls. We actually print them here. So, uh, one, we print them depending on the size of your wall. So, we have a, to take exact measurements of your wall just to ensure that whatever image you choose will fit there. When I say image, I mean um, wall mirrors can be customized to fit whatever it is that you want. So, you want probably this kind of flower, you want an animal, you want um, trees, you want a lake, you want... Clearly, it's just a representation of a real thing you know um so we ensure that that wall of yours fits that image the way it's supposed to fit and i thought that today i should actually come with you guys i was able to do around four wall mirrors in akuru the last one week and i wanted to show you guys how that thing is installed it's actually printed in canvas some soft canvas and then we installed with glue and you can this is the one thing that you you can actually move this and tough and cake on bow you can remove it and go and stick somewhere else as long as that other place the wall fits again just the same way it fitted here because the image has to be represented i hope i'm making sense anyway enjoy the video guys kindly subscribe and in case you're interested in any of our products wallpapers wall mirrors contact papers stuff and cake on bow kindly find my number in the description box and we are going to make sure that your place looks beautiful. We are here to help you build a happy place. Enjoy the video. What you're seeing right now is now the wall that we are actually about to install. The wall mirror. I'm working with Frederick. I'm sure you've met Freddy on this channel before. Especially on my first wallpaper video. Anyway, that's the wall. And the whole mural ch choice was actually the client's choice. What Freddie is doing right now is applying glue. You need to apply enough glue for that whole mural to stick. Now this is the choice and this is the canvas that has been printed. So we just applied glue on it, waiting to now be stuck onto that wall that Freddie is installing. Not installing, sorry, applying glue. We use the same glue actually that we use for wallpapers, but we add a little bit of hardener just to ensure that it sticks and never comes out. Like it's just going to be smooth. It's going to be permanent unless you actually want to get it out. All right, let's get moving. And like I said, you are about to see me looking some type of way. <laughs> I'm about to dress up, get ready with this apron, which um, I painted with. And for some reason, paint never comes out. You know, paint just never comes out. Anyway, I'm about to source another wall, another apron. Is it an apron or an overall? Yeah, an overall. Anyway, so I just want to dress up and get ready for the work. Installing a wall mirror is not as easy as a wallpaper 
it's really not as easy as people think for wallpapers you can always always get um do it yourself for one wall because it's just like pieces that you connect but for this one it comes as almost like one piece unless the wall mirror is really really wide where you have pieces but still connecting to that same image so we had to actually really hold uh, the two sides both of us and ensure that we get to understand where the top part is and to shikanie to shikanie to saidiane because remember the wall has glue that's why the side that i've just left the wall mirror was able to stick and now just helping you know, on this other side so it doesn't roll out and roll back down uh can you see it's about to i mean come out again it has glue and the glue just sticks just just as soon as you put it there but you can you always have room for you to push the glue and smoothen and ensure that you don't have bubbles so that's what we're doing just placing it to ensure that the image fits perfectly to the wall and that it's not upside down because you could pick the wall mirror and it's upside down so just ensure that it fits well uh the top part is well represented the image is fitted to the wall perfectly and then now we can use a scrapper just to ensure that everything is scrapped off of course there are some edges we leave some um what is it called this some allowance where we can always cut out to ensure that we don't get the printed part the white printed part um showing yeah but that's that's what we are doing it's it's that easy actually but you need to be two or more depending on how huge the wall is you know you could have like a whole wall so yeah then you spread it down and as you can see that's the image that was on that photo that i showed you guys on the choice of the client Anyway, let's get moving and let's get scrubbing. Now, scrubbing helps to remove the bubbles and ensure that it's smooth enough and that it sticks properly and perfectly. As you can see, the spaces that Freddy has already scrubbed, they are smoother than this other side that he is now heading on to. Can you see some um, creases? This is called creases. Yeah, that thing, that word, that word. You get it? If you don't get it, forget about it anyway you can see now it's coming into place it's looking brighter it's smoother you're seeing now the image like an ocean that kind of a vibe anyway this was a client's choice and we're actually going to install a tv there thank you so much guys for watching this video in case you're interested in wall mirrors kindly reach out to me there's a number on your screen there will be a number on my description box and we can print it for you it's two thousand kenya shillings per square meter and that was the outcome perfect uh, got back the tv there and we actually just liked it the before and the after thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the description box thank you